So, you know, you might be sitting here going, well, what was the point of the previous exercise, the exercise on black point and white point? Well, let's actually see how shifting the black point and the white point and, of course, the midtones in a real image is actually going to play out. And again, we're going to get Photoshop to do most of the legwork here and then run a set of commands that Photoshop has for us, auto commands that we saw in the previous lesson, to see what happens inside the different copies of the same photo. So to get started here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the tab key to turn off my toolbox and my palettes there on the right hand side, and I'll double click on the gray background, Look for a file inside your project files called view.jpg. Go ahead and pop that guy open. Here he is. Kind of an oversaturated looking photograph, kind of washed out there in terms of the, the horizon line there and really nothing happening in the sky there, kind of blown out there. But as I say, I want to duplicate this guy and I'm going to do so simply by heading to the image menu and then down to duplicate. And I got to do this three times, right? So image duplicate. And I get this little dialog box coming up here. I'm going to call this guy Auto Color. And hit OK there, or hit Enter on your keyboard. And let's do that again. Image, and then down to Duplicate. And I'll call this guy Auto Tone. OK, and one more time. Image, and then down to Duplicate. And this guy we'll call Auto Contrast. Perfect. OK. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to see all of my images sort of side by side. So I'm going to head to my window menu and then down to arrange and then I'll choose tile. Now I see all of my images kind of all sort of side by side here. So hopefully our images are arranged in the same way between you and I. I have the original image view.jpg open in the top left corner. Then I have auto tone auto color down in the bottom left corner and then auto contrast in the bottom right corner. Now the next thing that you might want to do just before we really get going here is you might want to hit the H key on your keyboard to flip over to your hand tool and you might want to position up your image windows just a little bit just so you can see exactly what's happening here. You have to click inside these image windows and then drag around with your mouse to really get this happening here. Okay, so something like this I think looks fantastic. So let's take a look now at Photoshop's auto commands and see the results that we get on our different images.